filter, split data into two streams, T for true, records that satisfy the expression, and F for false, records that do not satisfy the expression. Let's run the workflow. Let's first analyze the data by clicking on the text input tool. Let's take a look at the first filter tool. We have used a basic filter. In this example, the filter is country equals Canada. Let's take a look at the T for true output anchor browse tool. As you can see, it took all the Canada fields in the country column. Let's take a look at the F for false output anchor browse tool. As you can see, it took all the non-Canada fields in the country column. Let's take a look at the second filter tool. We have used a basic filter. In this example, the filter is less than or equal to 15,000. Let's take a look at the T for true output anchor browse tool. As you can see, it took all the less than or equal to 15,000 in the tax expense column. Let's take a look at the F for false output anchor browse tool. As you can see, it took all the expense totals above 15,000 in the tax expense column. Let's take a look at the third filter tool. We have used a basic filter. In this example, the filter is greater than or equal to 15,000. Let's take a look at the T for true output anchor browse tool. As you can see, it took all the greater than or equal to 15,000 in the tax expense column. Let's take a look at the F for false output anchor browse tool. As you can see, it took all the expense totals less than 15,000 in the expense column. Please note, also you can create custom filters. Using custom filters means that you are writing your own custom expressions. Custom filters are useful for doing multiple filters at a time.